Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video with your host, Sebi G. So today, I'm going to be ranting about the worst cartridge that I've ever honestly tried. Like, it should literally be a damn crime to be selling these out in the dispensary and people just getting away with selling these because literally, when I picked it up I went in extremely hyped up I thought I was gonna be like you know met with my expectations but when I pulled it out of the box the cartridge was literally just straight up mids everything from the look everything from the hardware that they use everything from the taste it just was like I was like I was like well, how can they be even putting this out on the market so nonetheless today I'm gonna be discussing and talking about the worst cartridge that I've literally ever tried all right I know you guys have already probably heard me like years ago make a video on the moonwalker cart and that at that time was the worst cartridge that I've ever tried but then again that was a fake cartridge all right but this one right here is actually a, a full but this one right here is actually a hundred percent fully licensed it's licensed by the biggest company out right now which is gonna be cookies and the main reason that I'm gonna be talking about this today is because it's honestly upsetting to me that companies are so willing to put out garbage out on the market and just try to get a quick buck out of us consumers but before anything I do have to have a battery so I can actually chief this and really give you guys a good description of why I hate this cartridge so the battery that I'm gonna be using today is obviously the handy dandy Toki 510 thread wireless one I actually have a brand new one right here because my other one is in charge at all so I was like you know what I have this one in stock right now and sitting in my closet so why not do a little bit of an unboxing Boxing here in this video, right? So I got the pearl white Toki. It comes in this very nice heavy duty kind of case right here. And then inside of here, it is gonna come with the USB type C cable. Obviously, it's gonna come with the battery that comes with three different type of temp settings. The coolest thing about this battery is probably the wireless charging feature that they have on it. That right there, I don't think I've seen any other battery have that feature. And that's honestly one of my favorite things to do. It just slap it on top of the charger and literally it's hands-free, extremely easy to use. So right here, I do have my Toki 510 thread battery, and inside of here, like I said earlier, is just gonna come with a power adapter, a cable, and nothing else, all right? A big shout out to Toki for making one of my favorite batteries out right now. Now, if you guys would like to see me make a full-on unboxing and giving you guys all the details and breakdowns of what this Toki battery has, let me know down in the comments below. I'll leave this video with a fat like, and let's get back into to the video so this cartridge that I have right here pretty much to make it plain and simple is gonna be a cookies what they label it a live flower cart but the reason that I thought that this was gonna be good is because it's priced literally one of their most expensive cartridges that they have right now it's literally just as expensive as their live rosin carts so when I asked the butt tender about this one she pretty much just pledged that it was gonna be way better than the rosin cart if not it was gonna give me a similar feeling so I was like you know what let me go ahead and cop that one it was a half a G and now and like literally the first thing when I pulled it out of the box the first thing that I noticed was how dark the oil is now when it comes down to life flower I have done some research and they are supposed to be a little bit on the darker side but this one right here I mean I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing but there is a bright light hitting down right here and it still seems like it's extremely freaking dark so that's kind of the first thing that kind of threw Threw me off but I was like you know what I'm not really gonna base it just off of the color of the oil let me go ahead and smack it on my battery and see how it's hitting and as soon as I took that first initial hit I was like wait hold on I'm not really tasting anything at all right so I was like you know what let me go ahead and take a couple more puffs let me go ahead and break into it and see if I can actually get a good flavor out of it so I, I took literally like two to three hits back to back and I still didn't get not a single flavor so I continued to hit it over and over and over again and I was like bro 
I'm literally not getting any flavor whatsoever. Like I'm not even getting any earthiness, any gassiness, any sweetness. It just tastes like just straight up like if I'm vaping air. And I was just like, this is this something seems off about this, right? What I ended up doing was I went on the internet as most of us probably would, and I Googled cookies live flower cart. And I think one of the first things that popped up was a Reddit post talking about how some guy copped this and how about he was having some similar issues about he wasn't feeling any effects at all after literally finishing the entire cartridge and not only that but he didn't really get any taste whatsoever he said that he got a slight perfumey taste but it wasn't any type of terp that he's ever experienced before which is kind of mind-boggling to me because I feel like I'm going through the similar thing when I was reading down in the comments below I guess someone had talked about that these live flower cards are not made with good live flower they're actually Actually made with flour that's literally on the verge of expiration day and they're trying to pretty much just turn it into oil and make a quick a buck and when I read that I was like you know what I kind of just like was thinking I was like what well, is it really a possibility that cookies is doing something like that and it's like I really wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt but that's kind of what it seems right it kind of seems what they're doing is probably using literally almost the verge of dying flour and trying to transform it into oil that way they can make a quick buck out of it right and honestly that's something that I really don't appreciate especially when it's coming at the consumers cost and it literally just makes cookies the whole brand look bad because let's just say that I'm a person that goes in strictly for vape cards and let's say I want to go into cookies and try a vape card let's say I end up trying this one if I end up trying this one I'm literally never gonna go back now I don't really know if this only happens with live flower cards because back in the day when I tried other cookies cartridges that were like just straight up dissolute with a little bit of turps, those tasted pretty freaking fire. But this right here, bro, it's like, I just don't know what to say about it. It's literally the worst cartridge because it has no flavor to it. I mean, it could be worse, I guess, if it tasted like just complete ass, but it has no flavor to it. It has no effects to it. I'm literally just freaking vaping air at this point, and it's literally just a waste of money for me. Now, this video is not intended to just completely bash cookies, but this video is more so just to get awareness out there. You never really know if someone from cookies is watching this, and then they just decide to completely pull the plug on the live flower carts that way they're not freaking just scamming people out of their money and at the end of the day I could be doing a lot of people a freaking a favor all right but let me know what, what everyone's experiences are with live flower carts I don't know if I've ever heard anybody even talk about live flower carts but I'm sure there are a few people out there that do know a thing or two about them all right so with all that being said guys this right here is literally the worst cartridge that I've had since that fake Dr. Zodiac cartridge back in 2018. All right, guys. So with all that being said, I'm out for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little rant today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, sub, all that good YouTube stuff, and I'm out.